Hello, in this video I want to edit a KuCam tree photo, DNG 8 in this case, and show you how I do it. So first what you have to do is to turn on your KuCam tree, open the door, plug in a USB-C cable, then um, it will be recognized as external drive and you can copy the file to your PC. I have already done this and that are the files. So this is a JPEG file. And here we have our DNG files. There are eight. So next step is to open RAW Plus. It's another tool from Kandao there where you can combine the eight DNG files to one. So you simply take one, drag and drop it, and then it already asks if the other parts that matching the name should be uh, imported, you'd say yes, and then you have everything imported, and then you define an output file. Let me change that. Then you pr simply press render, and it will be done in uh, a few seconds. So see, already done. Close that. Here we see the file, it's starting with KD raw and the original file name. I will go back to Lightroom, synchronize, and here we have it. So I give it one star, open it. Because it's hard um, to see something under orientation, I will turn it one time to the right. So, okay, then we go to the edit mode. And first thing that I do is press auto. Okay, that's way too bright. Let's lower this. So now let's check the blacks. There we go. It looks not bad. Then let's check the whites. For that I press the ALT key and I use the slider so everything turns black and only the parts that um, are too bright will be visible in this case in red. That should be fine. Adjust highlights and shadows. Okay. I give it a bit of texture. Um, clarity is always nice because then also the white of the houses will um, pop a bit more. Let's try the haze. Let's make the photo darker, but also the colors come a bit more out. Let's get about contrast. Uh, only a little bit. So, okay, let's check the details. Um, yeah, this could be a nice place. I always look for something dark and bright. And now I all again press the Alt key and masking and use the slider still. At the moment, I don't see any. Um, areas uh, like the, the here the wall if you has um, everything that's white will be sharp and everything that's dark will be not sharpen and so you can look for areas that has noise inside same with the sky see we have only little pieces from the clouds here but there has not them I don't need any sharpening for the clouds that should be nice. Let's check the whole picture. Yeah. So, how much? Let's check some. It's okay. We don't have to use the noise reduction because we have nearly no noise in the picture. That's the benefit of DNG8 because you combine eight photos, noise will be eliminating in this process. Lens correction, 
now we can check, but I don't see any problems with chromatic aberration. We'll zoom a bit more inside, 200%. Press this button, nothing else. Okay, uh, I am, have just updated my Lightroom and now I'm a bit confused about early access, lens blur, and also here the HDR button, never seen them before. <laughs> okay, so, okay, that looks good. Um, color mixing, no, 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 but it's also new. Ay, ay, ay. Have to take later a look. No, that should be fine. Now we turn the photo back where we have transform, turn it now to uh, rotate to the left. So we have the or original orientation back, otherwise, we cannot stitch it. The orientation has to be the same as before. Okay. Yes. We can pop a bit of vibration, the colors. Yes, this is nice. Also dehaze maybe a bit more. I'm not happy about this is fine. Something I miss missing this photo. Let's check highlights. No, turn it back. Ah, it will make it a bit darker. It was early in the morning, so that's fine if we have some dark parts here. I could brighten this up, but I don't think it's necessary. I think that would work better. Okay, now I will export this. I have here um, already make a shortcut for an, um, for an export into a defined folder, and then I will start the Kukam Studio. So now we take the exported JPEG file drag and drop it to Kukam Studio, press gravity correction, no, it's not perfect, let's turn on the mesh, and now, so, no, this direction, that's, this looks already good, this house is not okay, mm, how much? Usually it works, but I think this kind of rotating the photo could be somehow better. I have the feeling it has been in the version, um, earlier CoCam Studio version, better. They have changed it a bit, but I think that's fine. So let's now rotate now. If we have then the like the colors here in the middle, so that will be the starting view somewhere here. That should work. Okay. Now you can press this button and turn into a uh, this view. So we see a bit better. I think this house is a little bit, you have to be turned in another direction, this, that, that way. Fine, chimney is fine, and yeah, somehow that should be, that should work. Let's check about stitching. No, it's okay. No issues. So let's turn it back and make again a look. This is not fine. Okay, 
So that should be enough. You can press different. This will also help against um, chromatic operation. And then we already press export. Here you can define the folder. And then you have press export selected or export all, doesn't matter in this case. And you see, it was only a few seconds and it's done. Now let's check. Uh, no, that's wrong. This folder. We'll go to the stitching folder. Yes, I opened the GoPro VR player. It's a 360 player that you can simply take your 360 photo and watch it. And I think that looks nice. Also, the horizon seems to be fine. So, stitching. We have uh, maybe a little bit of in the window, yeah. But uh, not that much. That's something. If you discover something, you can go into the QCAM Studio and press the calibration button. Um, usually you have to hold your photo in a, um, take a photo in a defined way. So that uh, calibration will work. And then you can also save the file and put it to the QCAM so that every new photo will record it with this configuration. But sometimes if you have like, in this case a little bit, you can also try it with that. You can make a second export. Export selected. And now check if there's a difference. So we open our GoPro player and this is the second photo. Let's check. Yep, no wobbling anymore. That looks better. That's maybe a slightly part here where I have hold my hand. It was not far away from the camera, but I, that's nothing big. If somebody not searching for it, he will not see it. So, okay. That is a nice good morning planet. That was the sunrise. By the way, yeah, that's my way how I added a KuCam Studio, uh, no, a DNJ file from the KuCam tree. Um, it's a, if I look at the time, I have right now 40 minutes um, without talking. It's 10 minutes maximum that I need for such a photo, maybe less. That's, I think it's fine for this result, for the quality. Yeah, that's all for today. I hope you like it. See you. Bye.